Can someone die of Alzheimer's disease? This is a question I have not yet addressed on my blog. I only spent a paragraph on it in my memoir, but I think it's something that people really want to know. I even had the question myself, so I'm not sure why I'm so late in coming to it. Hello, I'm Dr. Renee Harmon. I'm the author of Surfing the Waves of Alzheimer's. It's a memoir about my husband and his time with younger onset Alzheimer's disease. So I have a YouTube channel, as you know if you're watching this, and I rarely get comments on the videos that I post, but about three months ago, I, had, I got a comment and went to that video, which was a video that I had posted like six months previously. And I went, when I went there to respond to the comment, I noticed there were 800 views, and that's very bizarre. <laughs> Most of my videos get 20 to 30 views, rarely more than 50. And uh, since that time, it's up now up to 1,800 views. So what is this video? Well, it's titled, Pneumonia is the End-Stage Patient's Friend. And if you want to help it go even more viral, just look for it on, on my channel. But I think it's because people really want to know what the end-stage of Alzheimer's disease look like. In the video, I talk about hospice. So I really wanted to spend some time talking about what the end stage looks like and what is the ultimate cause of death in patients who have Alzheimer's disease. So can a person with Alzheimer's disease die of Alzheimer's disease directly? Yes, but not usually. So Alzheimer's disease is a universally fatal disease. It's caused by a buildup of ab abnormal proteins, um, amyloid plaques and tau tangles that gum up the works in the brain. So brain cells are supposed to communicate back and forth and when these abnormal proteins build up between them, they can't talk back and forth to each other. And when brain cells can't do what they're supposed to do, they die. Use it or lose it. And over time, the more brain cells die, the brain itself will shrivel and shrink because of the, the multiple brain cell death. In the, toward the end stages of Alzheimer's disease, it's not just memory. So because the brain is such a complicated organ, um, a brain with advanced Alzheimer's disease can't process information correctly. So that's why you see difficulties with vision or balance um, and other things that are not related to memory. In the very end, the severely affected brain cannot process information to and from the heart and the lungs. And this is what can cause a patient with Alzheimer's disease to to die directly from it. Now the literature says that a person can live with Alzheimer's disease for 20 years or more, but that's extremely rare. That would take extreme diligence on the part of caregivers and actually very good health of the affected person for that 20 years to happen. The natural, the natural progression of Alzheimer's disease um, and is eight to 10 years from the time of diagnosis to the time of death, not 20 years. And that's because patients typically die of either a complication of Alzheimer's disease or from another disease process that they already have or develop later. So because, because Alzheimer's disease necessarily affects mostly older people, they're probably going to have other chronic illnesses which can cause their demise in the end. So they might have a heart attack or have complications of diabetes or chronic heart disease, something other than the Alzheimer's disease. The most common cause of death of a complication of Alzheimer's disease is pneumonia. So this is what caused my husband Harvey to pass away. He had prolonged seizures that were difficult to control. Seizures are another complication of uh, Alzheimer's disease that some patients get. Well, he was also advanced enough where he could not swallow well and we had to coax him to swallow. So I believe that he had a very prolonged seizure and inhaled retained food particles that were still in his mouth, inhaled them down into his lungs and that caused aspiration pneumonia. 
So other infections can cause uh, a patient with Alzheimer's disease to pass away, an undetected urinary tract infection or an infected bed sore. Being confined to the bed can also result in blood clots. Trauma from falls is another broad category of complications of Alzheimer's disease that can lead to death. So a, a head trauma from a fall um, is, can, can lead to death even if the uh, trauma itself seems minor because a shrunken brain, the, in, a shrunken brain, in a shrunken brain, the blood vessel between the brain and the lining of the brain is stretched very taut and can tear easily. So with it, if there's a minor uh, fall, those blood vessels can tear and lead to a subdural hematoma. Um, other injuries might come from a minor fall, such as um, fractures or internal injuries. And then add to that possibly malnutrition and dehydration in a patient that is having difficulty eating or drinking. That just sets up um, a very strong picture for a patient who is unable to survive what might be a minor setback. So I know today's video isn't answering your question directly when I say yes, but, um, and because Alzheimer's disease is so different from patient to patient, there's just no way that I or anybody else can tell you what to expect with your loved one. But I hope today's video gives you a kind of a broad picture of what might happen. And I know it's difficult as a caregiver to plan for something like this or to plan emotionally for it. But again, I hope today's video has been helpful. Be well and keep your balance.